Welcome. I'm sure many of you out there can relate to feeling like you're always go, 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 but then you get to the end of the day and what happens, your energy is gone. Or maybe your diet and exercise, you're doing it religiously but still haven't reached your goals. What if you could hack your body and your brain to work in your favor? Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, tried out a new fitness and lifestyle trend that claims to do just that. I'm about to take you inside a biohacking gym called Bulletproof Labs. Let's go check it out. What is the concept behind this? We leverage the most cutting edge technology to help the brain and body perform better in less time. Let's do this. All right, come with me. Today, we're gonna to be doing chest press. We use technology instead of weights like the Stone Age. He just said weights are the Stone Age. <laughs> Three, two, one, push. <sighs> On the way out, the machine was adapting to your strength. <sighs> Whoa! On the way back, the machine loads you to hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Oh my gosh. And relax. <laughs> wow, that's all the time that I need on this machine? That's it. <laughs> you just got a week's worth of strength training in about 12 minutes. What if I told you I could give you a three hour high intensity workout in just 21 minutes? Can we do it in 11? Why not, let's go. <laughs> Brandon is applying compression cups to your arms and legs. These compression cups are gonna fill up with some really chilly water. Can I just like strap ice cubes to my body when I'm working out? It's the combination of both the cold and the compression. Three, two, yeah. one, and relax. Good job. And I'm ready to lie down. I'm about to get in a virtual flow tank. It's supposed to leverage light and sound so my body can get in a deep meditative state very quickly. Welcome back. How are you feeling? You guys did a lot to my brain right now. <laughs> Something I'm really looking for today is the oxygen trainer and this pretty little mat. So Leslie, this is an actual oxygen reservoir. In a minute here, I'm gonna flip the switch and you're gonna feel what it's like to experience 10% oxygen. Three, two, one, go. Good. Three, two, one. Big breath. Woo, woo. You've exposed your brain and body to half of what normal oxygen is. All of your other workouts are gonna seem like a piece of cake compared to this. I'm gonna be able to kill it. Yes. I just got my body worked and now I gotta get my mind in check. We're gonna do some neural feedback. Brandon's gonna apply these little electrodes to your head. And these are gonna be passively reading your brain activity. This can actually read my mind. <laughs> it is gonna read your mind, but it's not gonna read your thoughts. Okay, good. Those so stay private. <laughs> Headphones are gonna be playing beautiful music. And anytime your brain leaves ideal range, you're gonna hear a little record scratch. I put my body and my mind through quite a journey today. In fact, my mind's still going through it right now. And I'm gonna see how it all affects me. Leslie joins us. How are you feeling after going through all of that? I was in so much pain the next day. Well, that was wow. gonna be my first yeah. question. I mean, <laughs> I and, and, like, you, and you work out, you, you, I do. you're in pretty darn good shape. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but, but this worked. I don't feel that way after I work out. Oh, and I, how long were you there? How long was the actual physical part of the workout? The physical part of the workout was so short, which was so surprising to me that I felt that way the next morning because I don't feel like that when I work out an hour at the gym, an hour and a half at the gym doing weights. Like that machine specifically, the one that was all about the resistance, I felt it all in my arms and my, um, my chest the next day. It looks like you were training to go to space. <laughs> Some of uh, the equipment there actually is used by NASA. I believe That's, it. I mean, that yeah. spinning, huh. that chamber. and I could have stayed there all day. Awesome. That was really, really enjoyable. The, the whole thing with that is that it tries to put you in a meditative state so quickly because you have lights flashing and you have music playing in your, in your ears so you can't think about everything else going on in your life. That's, that's what it's supposed to. I know NASA's big in that light therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They feel that it, it helps mood and possibly mm -hmm. kickstart what was so your what favorite? was your yeah i was just Go gonna ask the same, the same question time, like, i was like what, what was, was your favorite, favorite part about it? well the fact that i was able to get that much uh results from that resistance training when i was pushing and i was really trying there that was my favorite because if i could do that like that would be incredible and what kind of people did you find there at the there was a the lab? plethora of different people there i was surprised actually there was young people older people there were professional athletes, there was people in wheelchairs there. It was really surprising, that place was buzzing. It was the middle of the day. And it's really more than just a fitness routine or a diet, it's a whole community that has legions of fans and people Lifestyle. believe in it.